No. Is that? Oh God. No. Okay. That's Adam. Can't be happening. So it was it's his not body. Fucking happening, Dad. Whoa. What the hell, Dad? Are you there? What kind of a sick game is this? Dad, I'm still alive. The head. Don't connect to it. Adam? Adam, are you there? I need your help. There's a place It's called Sanctuary. Adam? Adam? Just try to... Try to call me back. God damn it. Okay. Well, that's it then. I'm, I'm well and truly mad. This is... This is Adam's head, but Adam's just said... Don't connect to the head? He said don't connect... Okay. That is his head, right? Or is it just a fake? Did they... Is it... Did they grow it? Did they grow it out of... That biomass thing. Okay. We've got... Right. What the hell? A splicer, a lunatic, and a junkie. Perfect combo. Okay, we're, t we're talking about Victor now, right? Um... I am a little... Confused? Confused is a good, that's a good word for what I am. Disturbed? Disgusted? Freaked out? Okay. Gender A2, citizen, criminal record, deceased, person of special corporate interest. It is Adam, it's my son. Don't connect to it, person of special... Special corporate interest. Okay. Okay, okay. I can scan this with the bio thing. Chemical trace, controlled substance, 40 something. Okay. Okay. Uh, Clostridium titani bacteria. Okay, you know what? Some bacteria is detected. Okay. Artificial leather lamb skin. Oh, okay, okay. Let's check the computer. What the natural alternative? John Sebastian Ballard. We talked to Sebastian Ballard, CEO of Ballard Genetics and Augmentations, on the future of personalized modification and the fear of change. Okay. Please call me John. Uh, TT, this is Tom Tubble. John, let me present you a hypothetical situation. Let's say your son turns 18. He comes to you and says, Dad, I don't feel comfortable with my body. I'm going to go to the nice folks at BG&A and have them grow tentacles on my face. JSB, well, if he had the means to pay for the treatment, I would assume him to be a very smart young man. So I would gladly hear him out and do my best to understand his decision. Oh, my God, did that sound like a marketing spiel. You're dodging the question. Definitely is. JSB, I'm merely pointing out how unfair it is. It's always easy for rabble-rousers to say, what if it was your kids, but in truth, this conversation has been going on for hundreds of years. When the cybernetic revolution came out, there were people saying that we were all doomed and we'd all gone too far. A hundred years ago, a transgender person would be shunned as a misfit, a freak of nature, which thankfully seems outlandish by today's standards. There will always be people out there who fear change. This is true. It goes all the way back to probably the invention of fire. However, you were dodging the question. TT, but what if we reach a point where the rabble rousers, and thanks for that, by the way, will be right? Is there a limit? Is gene splicing it? That is an interesting question, because I'm not sure it's even an important one. I mean, it's it's something that's interesting to, to discuss, but, you know, 
will it matter? Is there a limit? I mean, what does that mean? Is there a limit where we'll just stop being human? Probably. But is there a limit we will not cross? Probably not. This, this may be our future. I, I'm not saying specifically this, but change beyond recognition. In fact, change beyond recognition is our future. Either that or annihilation. A very wise man once said that for us to be afraid of genetic research was akin to the ancient Chinese being afraid to fly kites because one day they might be crashing planes. I believe this sentence to be true even today. In terms of shaping our genome, we have barely scratched the surface. And yet it's being promoted as a hot new trend. We're seeing teenagers risk their lives by making these irreversible changes. JSB, not at B, G and A. We only treat consenting adults. That's all well and good, but the technology is out there, isn't it? The cat's out of the bag. True. Come now, Tom, are you really going to make me use the guns don't kill people argument? Well, please don't. Um, anything can be used to kill people. Kill people with a tree if you drop it on them. I, um, I'm only wondering if you think it's responsible to promote it as a fashion statement. Please, you said it yourself, the treatment it is irreversible and does involve a degree of risk, albeit small. Do you actually think anybody would make life-altering decision of that calibre on a whim? Yes, absolutely, definitely. No people who've done that sort of thing, you know, just, that's a daft question. That is a completely daft question. Are, are you pulling the, we should trust people, argument? Have you ever known people? You ever been out on a drunken binge? My God. You keep using the word treatment. Why? Because that's precisely what it is. TT. Not really, though. I mean, it doesn't treat my any illness. Uh, treat doesn't have to treat an illness. It could treat something else, couldn't it? Of course it does. Frankly, I'm a bit shocked to have to explain this to you, Tom. When you spoke of illness, you're clearly thinking of purely physical ailments. I'm certainly not trying to offend you, but I think it's fair to call that mindset medieval. Hmm. So you're saying turning someone into a genetic hybrid is a form of psychotherapy. Okay, see, I'm, I wouldn't necessarily go that far, but... I'm saying that anything that helps a person feel at home in their body should, be instant, should not be instantly discarded. Okay, I think that's a good argument. If you want to look like a werewolf, yeah, why not? If you want bionic legs and claws in your hand, warning. So we would just so we should just jump in with both feet. Is there no place for healthy skepticism? I rarely find skepticism healthy. Uh beg to differ. More often than not, it's a refuge for the prejudiced and close minded. True, but that's not skepticism. That's just prejudiced and close minded people hiding behind the term scepticism when what they mean is change kill it all i can ask for is not is to not vilify that which we don't understand do you consider yourself a prophet of change laughs i consider myself tired it's been a very busy week in that case i'll let you rest rest thank you for the interview jsb thank you for having me okay we've got some documents and the game again. All right, let's look at the mails. Grocery list. Hey, managed to nab a new client. Guy's interested in the pre-war transmitting equipment, and he's got the dough to pay for it. Doesn't need to be mint, but it has to be in working condition. Here's a list of what he's looking for. A B8X antenna, a Nemo synth dual mounted receiver, the bulky industrial one, not one of the consumer models, a VGX4 encoding chip, a Vitalia, IFP fusion batteries, as many as you can find. I'm counting on you, buddy. Don't screw this up. Latest batch. Victor, the parts you sent me last week were useless. I've managed to salvage the antenna, but the receiver was busted beyond repair and the rest was rusted all to hell. Where did you even get this stuff? Did you dig it out of the trash? Needless to say, the client's not paying for this crap. I had to offer him a discount on my premium stuff just to keep him in business, just to keep us in business. You're on... Th Thin ice, my furry friend. You pull a stunt like that again and you'll have to look for a new dealer. Rob. Please stop. Victor, this freakish charade needs to stop now. Mum and Dad are terrified and I don't blame them. The whole gay gene splicing obsession is one thing, but the packages you've been sending them... 
Whatever you think they did to you, this is cruel and unusual. Vic, you're my brother, and I love you even if you decide to grow an extra leg and a set of horns. But please, leave mom and pop out of it. If you want them to accept you for who you are, just talk to them, help them understand. Gotta be honest with you, though. Yeah, Victor's dad did not sound the sort of person to, uh, to be brought around with a bit of talking. I know you're not delusional, so please get back to your family. We're not your enemies. Hoping to hear from you soon. Anchor. All right. Ari, favor. Hey, buddy, I got your message. Frankly, it couldn't have come at a worse time. These past few months have been pretty hard. Eliza is out of a job again, and with the baby on the way, I've been pulling double shifts to save up some dough. We want to have a little one... We want to have the little one spliced as soon as it gets here. Sp okay. In other words, sorry, but I just don't have that kind of money. It's not that I don't trust you. I know you'd pay me back. I just can't help you out this time. Hope you figure something out. Hang in there, Matt. P.S. Ain't your parents rich or something? I hear they moved to the B district. Can't you just ask them for a loan? Ari, I'm coming for you. Dear sir, we at Ballard Genetics and Augmentations are deeply saddened by the fact that you're unsatisfied with the results of your gene splicing therapy. BG and A employs only the best experts in the field and uses state-of-the-art equipment in order to meet all of our patients' needs. However, we fully acknowledge our patients' rights to have immensely high expectations, even if, objectively speaking, they would be found unrealistic. While we're unable to provide you with the specific details regarding your treatment, we would like to remind you that in cases requiring the use of genetic material from extinct species, in this case Canis lupus, this is, this is wolf, our experts compose unique strains obtained from our gene library. Unfortunately, we are not able to provide you with a list of donor species or to confirm, deny whether a given species was used in the procedure. We would also like to remind you that the aforementioned facts were stated in no uncertain terms in the pre-procedural contract. So basically, does he, does, he think, does he think they didn't give him wolf DNA but like poodle DNA or something? Finally, we feel obliged to inform you that the malicious DNA tampering is a very serious accusation, one that should not be levelled lightly unless one has strong evidence to support their claim. Any unfounded accusations against BG and A made publicly or in further correspondence will be seen as slanderous and met with decisive legal actions. Sincerely, BG and A patient support. Okay. Documents. Nine... 9, 2080, 5, 2080, 2, 20, 6, 20. Okay. So this is... Oh, these are photographs. These are actually photographs of his changes. So he wasn't that hairy. Okay. Oh, good grief. Oh. Wait. I mean... He, he, he looks normal, doesn't he? Okay, this is this is deeply strange. Okay, the voice said, "Don't connect." Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what to believe anymore. The voice claiming to be Adam warned me not to plug into the head, but can I afford not to? Find Sanctuary. The person claiming to be Adam mentioned a place called Sanctuary. If there's any place he's there, I need to find it. Option. Commence neural interrogation. It's... Yes. I gotta be honest. Sanctuary <clears throat> injected. Strain level decreased. I keep missing out on vital information, and I'm flying, but you know what? I'm doing it. Is this my son? And if so, how is he speaking to me? Did he download his...
Do you think that was a mistake then? Press to start security. Whoa! Now that... That's not Adam, that, 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 that's me, isn't it? That's... Okay. Why am I seeing my memories in my son's head? I was about to say, d did my son upload himself somewhere? Press to start security scan. No, Adam Lazarski, chief research. Oh, so whenever I'm in someone's memory, I don't just see my own body, I see my own reflection. So I... Okay. This is Adam's memory. He was working for Chiron. What is it he did not want me to know? Is that a safety? Oh, it is. It's a safety force field. Oh, this is... Well, yeah, very creepy. Okay. Chiron Incorporated. Is this... You know what, once upon a time I would have thought all the monitors popping up like that was kind of cool. I have changed my mind. Especially if they're going to wiggle about like tentacles. Okay. I don't have any... Night vision or anything like that. Alright. Chiron Main Data Storage. Oh, this is not my office. This is Main... I was stealing data from Chiron. I, I was. He was. Adam was stealing. It won't let me. It won't let me hack. Why won't it let me hack? I'm. What? It, it, it wasn't allowing me to hack. I, Still no night vision. I've got a, I've got a TV. All right. That's me, isn't it? That that's that's me. Is that is that Adam? Do I are you, do I have to do that? Welcome to Adam's memory protection. You. See this because you want to see things I don't want you to see. Please sit tight and enjoy your last ride. What? My last ride? D so Adam has put security in his own head? Oh. My god. Insert coin. Do I have... I've been Minecrafted. Watch your head. Watch my head. What? Oh. Okay. I move. No, I did. I move. Oh, oh. I think. Didn't I? Oh my God. Ritz. Really move. I'm moving. I'm trying to move. I'm trying. Run, 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 run. Tetris I've ever seen. Run. Okay. St okay. Oh. Okay. So now I'm in a driving game. Stay away from the fire. Stay away from the fire. Laser beams probably bad too. Stay away from laser beams and fire. 
and buzz saws and spikes. And whoa, 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 whoa! Oh god, no, that that was yeah, okay. Oh, I can't turn. I've just got to... Oh, God, I've got... <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. It's a proper maze game. Jump forward. Okay. What's that? What is that? That, 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 that leech of some sort? Do I, do, do I chase that? What did that? Did something just get me? Score nine four four. Oh. Okay. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Push. 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 Through. Through. Keep following the. Whoa. I didn't mean to do that. I, did, I, I meant to sidestep. Unfortunately, when you when you hit sidestep, you turn in this. It's old school. Oh my god. Run. Okay, it's old school. And... Running and... Running, I think. Which... Okay, okay. Running, right, torches! Do I have a sprint key? Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, did I just throw a car at him? I might have. No, I ran myself over Warning. the car. Desynchronization imminent. Administer medication. I sort of feel like I threw a car at him. Do you, oh god, do, do I need to take some drugs? I didn't get anything. I thought that car was mine. I thought I threw a car at him. I pressed a button and pr it threw the car at him. Or at least I think he did. I thought I could get in the car, but the car ran me over. Stop trying to make sense of it. Stop trying to make bloody sense of it. Okay, can I take my drugs? Can I go back in? Would that be a bad idea? Okay. Okay. Case. Okay. Okay, what? Alright, take the thing. Yes. Okay, find sanctuary. Injected. Strain level decreased. Can I get back in? Human head. No life signatures detected. Well, we knew that. Wait, it's no longer telling me it's atoms. It's it's no longer telling me it's atoms. It does that mean it's not his? Okay then. Why have I? Do you, I've still got it, like... Okay, tell you what, let's look at something else. So that it gets rid of that. Okay. I don't want to be walking around with a picture of... Adam's head floating. Alright then. That would be a... Please come this way. Down. So this place has an... Under sewer? I suppose this should not come as a giant surprise. Or the fact that there seems to be computer equipment of some sort down here, or electrical equipment.
That is a uh, floodgate of some sort, I assume. shall go in this direction. Yes, we shall. We shall definitely go in this direction. We shall not look behind us. Picture's dead, isn't he? Oh, wait, what? No, uh. Whoa! What? Okay, sit. Should I have done something here first before I... Uh, no. Okay, follow the wires. Follow the wires. And hope it doesn't... Ow! It probably just opens this gate, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. This way? Uh, no. Not this way. This way. Just, just, just random pieces of refuge. Refuge. Refuse. Refuge. Is that where I was a second ago? I think it was. I'm not even looking behind me. No, I'm not. I need to find. I looked behind me. I looked behind me. I need to find sanctuary. I think. I mean, that's what I'm doing, right? I'm trying to find sanctuary. The person claiming to be Adam mentioned a place when it finding Adam. Okay, there's nothing else on there. So Adam is still alive. Either that wasn't him, or he's uploaded his brain. To something, I suppose. That would be. Oh god, he hasn't uploaded his brain to me, has he? Because I keep having memories, even when I'm trying to. Imagine they're usually my memories, not his. So. Okay. Stop walking backwards. When you're walking somewhere. No. That is... That is a little convenient, is it not? This reminds me somewhat... ...of, uh, the church in Victor's... ...memories. Are we back? I mean, like, are we behind the tattoo parlor, or...? Could be, couldn't we? That... Is that it? Is that the tattoo parlor right there? I think it might be. Okay. And there's a place right behind it called Sanctuary. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah, totally. Makes perfect sense. I'm not hallucinating this at all. Made it to Sanctuary looks like some sort of VR salon. No sign of Adam so far. I better look around. Okay.
Okay, that one opens. That one opens. Why does this one not open? Okay, is that important? Does it matter which one I go through? Ah, it is blocked. Is this a maze? That will not let me up. And that will not let me through. Therefore, by a process of elimination, we just go straight down the creepy church-like, I don't know what you would call this, building, and probably poke something over here. Okay. So this is going to get deeply religious, isn't it? 1221. Sir, welcome to the Sanctuary Salon. Please state your full name. Okay, what for? Where am I? Uh, yeah, go on. What do you need my name for? Customer name is needed in order to confirm a reservation. I don't have a reservation. Am I in the afterlife or something here? What is this place? Sanctuary Salon, established 2074. The salon offers top quality virtual reality experiences, expertly crafted to meet our customers' needs. Sanctuary, your safe refuge in an unsafe world. Is it going to turn out that I was in a virtual reality the entire time? Daniel Lazarski. Identity confirmed. Subscription status active. Thank you, Mr. Lazarski. Your capsule is ready. Oh. You want me to get into a VR capsule? Right? You want me to just step in without asking any questions? Okay, then. You know, you, you, you'd probably do more business if you actually had some nicer decorations out there and maybe a bit of light, some furniture. And if the first thing I saw when I went into one of your capsules wasn't a scene straight out of hell. 